Sing it! to get too wet. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Whoa. La -dee da I didn't see him there, that scared the crap out of me. Oh! <laughs> Go on, mate. You want to put the rope on it and then chuck it. Ready? All right, go, go, go. <laughs> Cheers. And we'll see ya. Uh, 1.30 or something, but I'll see if I have reception, but Cheers, thanks heaps Wave just behind you Phew. Perfect landing We have arrived, we've got gear spread out all over the rocks I was initially planning on doing this solo and then I was like, oh yeah, Will's been asking me, can we go fishing sometime? So that's Will. And I was like, yeah, I'll send him a message. He was free and uh, next thing you know, here we are. Um, going to be here two nights, tonight, tomorrow night, leave the next day. We're going to get ourselves ready, hike around the back, go fishing while the swell's still low and um, go see if we can catch something for dinner. Then we'll come back here sort our crap out, set up camp and whatnot. But yeah, we'll get organized, we'll head out, we'll go fishing. Let's go. Yeah, it looks like we can just walk into it, which is handy. It's always hard to know when you're looking at it from a boat or whatever. Yeah, nah, cliff gaff. Doesn't matter how steep it is with a cliff gaff. Steeper the better with a cliff gaff. Yeah, that's 
Now this looks good. That, that as good as you were hoping. It's almost just a little bit too mellow. <laughs> I didn't even use this rod on my last trip. Because like now nah, my medium, because I fell over with it. There's a big scratch down the side. I snapped, I uh, lost, damaged the tip on it. Is that what you were buying? Um, nah, that was for the fly rod. <laughs> Forever repairing things. So hopefully it doesn't snap when I load it up. We'll find out. Seems all right. Your medium setup's like my my setup there. Yep. What is it? A C. Um, it's a PE three to six, Ocean's Legacy, and I got fifty pound on this. It's quite nice to use. When you put bait in. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, they're all over it. How far would you go down? I'd probably nestle in that crack down there, but wherever's comfortable, eh? Hey? Yeah, no. That's all right. I think I got something. Yeah. Yep, yeah, got a fish. It's not too bad. Oh, I'm not getting a seal on it, am I? What's going on? What is it? Oh, it's getting chased. It's a kingy. It's a little king though. I reckon I'll winch him up. Cheers. Oh dear man. Hook thrashing. Couple of casts, we've already got a kingy. Keep this guy a bit of sashimi and some dinner. We'll see if we can get wheel one now. Beautiful, aren't they? So nice. Alright. Wheels just fired a cast in. Let's see if we can get him one now. Is that a fish? Or is that the bottom? Okay. No, nah, come on. No, nah, it's a fish. It's a fish. Come on, come on. What do you got? 
What is that? It's a groper. You got a groper. Green groper. <laughs> All right. Gee, not bad size either. I'll, um, I'll get the gaff ready. really weird. Yeah, they are like that at times. Uh -huh. uh, let him slide if he has to. Right, pass the sea line. What's going on here? It's kind of like... <sighs> We're back up here, tying another FG knot because um, the fish got away and the GoPro battery went flat. So, oh yeah, yeah, you should have seen the size of it. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll keep casting soon. Oh yeah, I had a hit. Yep, another hit. Come on! King eight! <sighs> Bit bigger! Yeah! I might just try leader to him, I reckon. Oh, he's gone. See ya, mate. And he just spat my lure, spat, pulled my plastic off. I was gonna go oh, that's all right. All good. You get that? A bit bigger. A bit bigger. He pulled a bit of string, that guy. And he had another one with him. I felt some good wax. And I was like, what's going on? I was expecting a demersal. Just in here, not too far out. But, um, yeah. That's what my hook looks like. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, wow. Just, I'd say, um, it hadn't sunk all the way in, or I don't know. Get your act together, guys. Make some decent hooks, eh? Yeah, that'll work. I got the first one fair way out, but the other one was in just sort of just before I was ready to start lifting it up. But I had a few hits there and I was like, what's going on? And then I came up tight. Oh. You had a bite? Yeah. Yep. 
Yep, you're on. I see that. Something's out there. Go, go, go. I thought I saw a flash, but I got that. What do you got? You got a kingy. You, kingy. All right, I'll get this up. Tricks, aren't they? Hopefully, you'll turn, come back. Wonder how big that one is that you got. <laughs> they go hard. They go hard. Let's see how we go. Yeah, they're, they're onto it. They run right across the edge. Follow all the structure. They don't head out wide and play nice. They play dirty and they don't give up. They, uh, they just keep going. Come on. <laughs> How big is he? Are we gonna be I a... think it's five set up. I reckon, I reckon we can winch him up without the gap. I reckon they'll be easier. I reckon it looks similar to my one that I got at first. Nice. Could be wrong though. Or do you want me to try to drop the gaff on him? <sighs> He's pretty heavy, isn't he? Oh yeah. that thing it's not what a mission yeah, he's a bigger fish. <laughs> he's a proper Fine. fish. <sighs> yep. Yes. You. <laughs> good work. No yeah, way. that's a good fish. That's a good fish. There we go. <laughs> Will's first kingy, and it's a beauty. Oh. Mate, you got to be happy with that. Was in. So good. Cheers, mate. No worries. For you. I thought it got me. Yeah, it okay. ran right around the corner. They know where to go. <laughs> they know where to go. What a beast. Yeah. What's the measure on that? That's got to be tip, tip, nose. I reckon he's a metre. He could even be a smidge more. No, he's, he's pretty much just a metre. Oh, yes. no, you got a 110, mate. No wonder why he was going hard. That's a 114. He'd be a, <laughs> he'd be a 10 kilo fish. 10 maybe even a smidge over 10 kilo fish. That's heavy, yeah. My wrist really hurts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're just going to move spots. Will's heading down, grabbing the gaff, and um, 
Then we're gonna to go to the sheltered side, fill up the kingfish, get some burley in the water, probably have some sashimi, see if we can sight cast some gropa or some kingies. See what happens anyway. So we end up wandering back to um, where we landed. Just gonna put some burley in here. Put the kingfish frames in, so we'll fill up them and um, get that in and then do a bit more fishing and have some sashimi. It's a bit of a mess in there. Yeah, your kingy makes mine look like a baby. Mine's cute in comparison. We've decided we're going for a walk around the corner for a final fish before we go set up camp up the top somewhere. So we've already wandered up the top. Anyway, we've got our fishing gear. We'll wander out there and see what we can catch. That was it. Yeah, that was it there, wasn't it? Still fishable. Yep. Probably back off on the sets. That does look better. Don't even have to cast too far. There's rocks in the water I can see. Yeah, but then there's like boulders and... Yeah, try there and cast out. Anyway. Uh, upper end. Haven't used this for a while. There we go. <laughs> Slide all the way in. Yeah. I just went for a wander, collected a few crabs with Will. He's wandered off, he needs to go send an email, so he's going to get reception up the hill. And I'm gonna see if I can get a groper quickly. And then I'm pretty much done for the day after that. Um, we'll get camp set up wherever that is, probably up the top of the hill, I'd say, so the seals don't pester us and we don't pester the seals during the night. And, um, Sit back and relax. It's definitely getting a bit rough around here. There's a nice little groper. Yeah, just like that, it went slack again. Well, this one's a nice little one, I reckon. Nah, it's a big harlequin. You never know. It's a grope for a cast. Perfect. Snack size Harley uh, Groper. Oh wow, that's cool. Oh, wow. 
perfect little size. We got a groper. Probably perfect eating size, really. So that's me done for the day. See if we can get Will one, and then we're going to go set up camp. There's one there ready to go. Will's turn to bring home the bacon. Ocean bacon. Ocean you, bacon. You snell it on, do you? Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah. How do you hook these? Do you go? I like to go through a few legs. Nice. And then maybe even just, just hook get it, it a leg. straight through the middle of that leg. That's what we were doing, yeah. Yeah. They're so tough, eh? They are tough. And then you get even bigger ones and it's like, you almost ah. need a drill. <laughs> That'll do. Mm. Lick your fingers and you're good to go. You got one. That's a pro that's a better bend. Yeah. Oh, I see him. He's decent. You'll probably want to run left. Go left. Otherwise, if he gets you around that edge. <sighs> they do know where to go, don't they? Bit of a bit of a wave coming too. Oop, oop, oop. Oh. Can you run him left? Yeah, go left, go left. We can wash him in down here. He's a big fish, isn't he? Go left even more, I reckon, over there. What if you take quite high though? Yeah, true. Go For that high. angle, of, yeah. Where is he? Where is he? There we go. Of course, the big one eats the light gear. All right. I'm going to have to go down and gaff him. Bring him up a bit on this one, on this one, bring him up a bit if you can. You reckon he'll release? Yeah, I'd like to. Let's just release, quick release. That's a big hill. He'll be over 15, I reckon. He'll be between the 15 and 18, eh? It's a good fish. <laughs> what a day. What a day. <laughs> All right, let's get him back in quick. Oh. Quick look at me from here. There we go. All right. Let's go. Huh? Watch your footing. You're probably all right with this one. Watch this one coming over. All right, go, go, go. Two groper fillets for dinner. Done. That was an empty as well. It was. Alright, we're done for the day. We'll see you up at camp shortly. Yeah. Very successful day. That is camp. There's my tent set up. That's his 
U Butte $100 tent set up, June four wheel drive. I don't know how long it'll last, but it's doing the job for I'm now. In, I'm impressed. Yeah. $100. It's not too bad for a hundred bucks. Just hope it doesn't rain. I'm not sponsored by them, <laughs> but hey. I am sponsored by these guys instead, and this is a much more quality piece of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more expensive. But you get what you pay for, you know. Wilderness equipment. That is a nice piece of gear. Looks a bit, looks a bit wobbly. Settle down now. <laughs> I'm gonna sabotage his. I'll probably just sneak up there and just just bend one of the poles in the night. Anyway. Yeah. There's a bit of um, grass in there for extra flavour. A bit of that. Just grab my knife. isn't it? <laughs> That's sick. Get some of that in there. I'm just like, ah, oh, just chuck it in. Done. Well, I've not tried GoPro. It's quite nice. Mm. Good, eh? That's amazing. Especially the smaller ones are always better, but I just catch big They're ones, good. mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is a serious problem you have there. But anyway, that's a wrap, literally. <laughs> and um, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Swell is cranking a bit at the moment, and probably will be cranking in the morning. So, not sure what we will do. Yeah. For now, yeah. Cheers. We're gonna sit back and relax, watch the sunset, and eat a few of these. <laughs>